Good day, dear listeners. Yes, it's indeed a good day. Um, you are still tuned into Agape FM. Um, you know your best online radio station. <laughs> yes, thank you very much for for tuning in. Um, yes, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, you are with Nikki, Nikki, and uh, with the midday talk. You know, every day we bring you um, inspirational people. We bring you entrepreneurs, movers, shakers. You know, and uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, speaking about inspirational people, um, I have with me today a very, very inspirational young lady. Um, uh, her name is Treasure. Treasure? Hello. <laughs> yes, a Treasure Ndubisi, you know, and uh, thank you very much for coming today. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I hope you are comfortable. Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, you look a bit... <laughs> yeah okay 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 I'm fine all right right yeah so thank you very much for coming and thank you for your willingness you know to to come and share your story to come and share your journey you know and uh, you are still a young beautiful woman young beautiful woman but you have been through you know a lot of things you've been through the most um, and you still look beautiful, man, you know, even though you went through all of that, you are still looking ravishingly, gorgeously, uh, beautiful, you know, you. sitting in front of me. Okay, so um, I'm just going to read your bio quickly, okay. going to go through your bio, and uh, so the listeners can hear, you know, okay. um, who you are and, and where you come from. Yeah. yeah so, I'm, okay, I'm just going to go through your bio. So, Treasure Ndubisi is originally from Nigeria of the Igbo tribe. Yeah, Igbo. 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 Yeah, tribe. tribe. <laughs> okay, she moved to PE in 2019 after matric. She is 19 years old and in born in May 2023. May 23. What, what am I saying? <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> May 2003. <laughs> Yeah, ne? we are in two times. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Yeah, okay. She loves acting, she loves singing, dancing, and playing a lot. Okay, Treasure is a model but not signed under any agency yet. She is one of the models of um, Ace, is that Ace yeah. Models PE e. Academy? And all her life, she dreamed, um, she dreams. Uh, okay, no, sorry. All her life, her dreams have been to be a role model to people. She loved, she always dreamed of being an international model. At first, she left Nigeria to South Africa with a plan of getting a job here and after her, um, and after her education, but her plans didn't work out. So she had to sacrifice her education for another thing, which was modeling. She enrolled into um, a modeling school, Ace Modeling uh, Models, Port Elizabeth to be exact. And, and this modeling academy has helped her a lot. They have taught her things that she never knew about modeling. She likes and is excited about modeling dreams coming through. Treasure also went to nails training, and her nails looks gorgeous, by the way, in order to support herself in a modeling career because she found out that um, that being a model is costly. One um, one needs money for registration, and other must sell miscellaneous cost. Okay, we just say for other cost, you know, that um, need needs to be you know met. Although she is, has not forgotten about education, Treasure wants to concentrate on achieving her goals first, which is modeling. Although Treasure lost her mom at six years of age, she has never given up on life and she is determined to make a success of her life. You know, that is what I call inspirational stuff right there. And you are only 19 years old, you know. Yeah, so um, can you just tell us about who you are, you know, we know that you are treasure. Uh, can you just tell us about your your story, about your family, life, um, growing up? Okay. Um, actually, I'm treasure in the BC. 
hail from Nigeria and I'm from Igbo tribe. Mm. Um, I'm 19 years old. You see, I'm quite young for all the things I have in my but just that mm. I want to achieve my things in young age mm. because there are some things that I can't do now. When I get to the age of 30, I can't do it. So I just want to make my things now. Mm. Like my plan is I want to be well-known model by the age of 30. Mm. At the age of 30, I just want to see myself signing other aspiring model. That's mm. why I believe that I have to start now mm. Mm. to do all those. And actually, I'm from family of seven. Sure. <laughs> and I'm the last child. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm the last child. Four mm. boys and three girls. Mm. I'm the last of all. So sure. I think um, I'm a bit fast, but to me, I see it as a challenge. I want to be the upper head. Mm. So mm. actually, I think that I'm achieving my dream of modeling because of the school I enrolled. Mm. Because at first, I thought that modeling is all about going for pageants, competitions, swing, where you're crying. But when I enrolled in the school, I find that it's not all that. Mm -hmm. You need money for a lot of things, for registration, costume, you have to travel. Mm -hmm. So I think that the school that I enrolled have really helped me a lot. So, mm -hmm. and I'm in the process of building my portfolio now for me to be like submitting them to an agency. Mm -hmm. And at first I never knew there's nothing like portfolio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I never knew there was something like portfolio. But this school I enrolled really helped me mm -hmm. a lot. I'm proud of ACE Mothers for the Lizards. Yeah. So straight after Matrip, you decided to come to South Africa. Yeah. Yeah. And how was that like? Was it an easy decision to make? How did your family react to to that? At first, my family never supported it. They said I'm too young to travel here to South Africa. Because South Africa is full of life, girl. <laughs> That I'm so young. Mm. So I was like, no, I'm just going there to work because in terms of that's the way I calculate this. I calculated Nigerian currency, South Africa currency. I think South Africa currency is higher than the <laughs> <laughs> oh. So I'll make mm. it fast. So my plan was like to come over here, do some little work, enroll myself in part time schools. Mm. But it didn't work out. Yes, so I have yes. to keep uh, my studies one side mm -hmm. and enroll myself in modeling school, which was easy for me. Yeah, you know, my study I wanted to do a um, med lab and it's a very huge course. Mm -hmm. I can't just go in South to keep it one side and mm -hmm. do the one that is easy first. Yeah, so you first tackle this one, you know. And yeah, uh, yeah, you're such a, a driven young lady because at the age of 19, you decide to pack up in Nigeria and move to South Africa without knowing what will happen in South Africa even. And yes, you, you came here and things didn't work out as planned, but you moved to plan B. Yeah. And now you are busy with plan B. You yeah, are making the yeah, most yeah, of yeah. plan B. You yeah. know, and that is honestly um some really inspirational stuff for even for our youth in south africa you know to know that like you're not gonna give up you know yes you move out of that extremely um comfortable zone because it's not easy i i can say like for me now to just pack up and Yo, move and not easy. <laughs> when i was 19 i didn't even think of moving anyway i was just like okay now next move you're gonna go to college and yeah but you are way <laughs> yeah man you are way ahead of things okay so um how did the, the passion for modeling start you know the love for modeling um actually it started from nigeria but just that i'm not used to social media i'm the kind of person that where i grew up i wasn't opportune to do things mm -hmm. so i don't use phone so i was like but to me in my school 
I act, I dance, and whenever there is um beauty contest in my school, I'm always the winner. Um, like in my past school, I was the queen of my school. So I think to me, I was saying when I grew up, I will be a beauty queen. Actually, yes. I don't know what's the beauty. <laughs> No. I will be a beauty queen. <laughs> and it was when I came to SA, I started using social media. I joined um different pageant groups. So I was seeing a lot of things. At first, I started online, but I was calmed a lot. Mm. And I never gave up. I keep on um joining some online pageants. And I was like, why am I joining online pageants? Things that I can see. I need something physical that uh -huh. I can showcase myself. That's what I want. I don't want online stuff. People will not see me. I can't mm. speak to people. I need something that I can go do charity work, speak with my fellow youth, inspire them. That's what I want. Mm. So I was like searching for an agency around me in Gogo. Uh, I didn't find anything nice, so I found ACE models. So I just let me go and confirm first. So when I went there, I think no, I first I went to V models. Um, I wasn't comfortable there. I mm. left. I went to ACE. Is my this, spirit. Sorry, is this now still in Nigeria? No. Oh okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So when I went to ACE, I was comfortable. My heart accepted, so mm. I filled the form mm. and I started with the ACE. Mm. So I asked them, um, are they an agency or academy? They said they're academy. They are just here to train us. I said, yeah, I need training because I'm, I've not gotten any experience, mm. which is after the training, they will create portfolio and certificate for us. So I said, okay, that's right. That is where I started. And also, I never stop like going for online stuff. <laughs> mm. When I see things online, I also feel the form and register. Like now, I'm in a contest of face of encouragement. The mm. thing is still going on. I also joined South Africa Miss Rainbow, which will heal at Pretoria by December. Mm. Wow, sure. Yeah, no, this this lady, this young lady. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so um, can you just tell us, you came to South Africa, yeah. no job. Yeah. So you search, you search, you get no job, you know. Yeah. And uh, how was that for you? You know, that experience where you now don't have any job. Mm -hmm. um, what, what did you experience through that time? You know, because that was a very challenging time for you, you know. And also, um, when you came to South Africa, what did you stay with? What? Yeah, because okay. you came to South Africa alone. alone. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, no, no. At first, it was my uncle mm -hmm. that brought me. Oh. With the man, he owns a restaurant. Okay. I will work with his co workers. Mm -hmm. And to me, coming is not because of the restaurant. My mind was like, I work in this restaurant, mm -hmm. raise money, and engage myself in part time studies. That is how I scheduled. Oh, okay. <laughs> So arriving, I started the work. So the lady was like, you know, restaurants is just like guys, a lot of men. The lady was like, she wanted to use me for sales stuff. When a client comes, she would like me to show off my butt. I was like, no, this is not what I come for. So I told my uncle, he said that he would speak to the lady. To mm. stop that. So, and I was living in the same room with the lady. You know, after shop, you also miss the same person. It. So the challenging was thought was like too much because she was like not harsh to me because mm. I never accepted what she wants. So I have to like move out from the place mm. and I stopped to work. I started staying with my uncle so out. So that is where I stay. And I have a friend, my auntie that plays hair. She's a hairdresser. So at times I will go and help her out, finish like when she's doing, I'll finish up. Then after the end of the day, she will give me some stuff, some cash. <laughs> and that is why that auntie just finally turned like a mother to me. She's the one like helping me, supporting me. She's just like a friend that turns like a mom. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, um, we just spoke this morning that we need that support. Yeah. You know, that support system, people that believes yeah. in you, yeah. you know, and I believe she is that one yeah, that believes that you can, you know, yeah. you can achieve whatever 
um, you put your heart to your yeah. mind to yeah. so yeah we bless God for her yeah. well, yes. I bless God for her yes. yes I hope she's listening now yeah is she listening <laughs> I believe so. Yeah. You, you just mention her name so you can just sh- send a shout out there for your aunt. Hello, Aunt Nena. I love you so much. <laughs> wow. Awesome, man. Awesome. Uh, you said that the modeling, you know, the modeling has really helped you. Can you just um, tell us how how um, has it shaped you as a as a individual you know as a young lady what has it taught you, you know, how has it impacted your life yeah you know it impacted a lot in my life like to be confident mm-hmm. courageous as for good how to face public like mm-hmm. me what can appear sitting down confidently it was like their handwork they have done a lot like they have done a lot in my life Mm-hmm. They have made me to understand that not everything I see online that I must accept. Like what I do online is when I see something, I would tell them speak to my director. Mm-hmm. So if they ask her, they will not. So that is, I think, that is the most important thing that mm-hmm. they have impacted in my life. Yes, uh, um, like the 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 impact, you know. We must always, I always say that um, it must be for your benefit at yeah. the end of the day. You know, yeah. whatever you engage in, you must feel comfortable. Yeah. Yes, you must feel comfortable with what you are doing. Yeah. yeah as long as you, you grow into the individual that you need to be, you know, and you yeah. want to be. Um, yes, you also have the nail training. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, I can see your nails looks very uh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, so... Um, not only is this young lady um, doing the modeling, you know, and 19 years old, she's already there, you know, she's already started to see that, okay, you know what, if I want to accomplish my dreams, I need to start doing extra stuff, you know, yeah. to, you know, support my dreams. So you yeah. also have the, the nails that yeah. you do. So is it something that you do um, regularly? Is it something that you... Uh, maybe do it at your house or how does no, that work? It's regularly. I just finished learning, so it's regularly job. No, so you do other people's nails yeah. as well. Yeah, mm. I'm a technician. Okay, I okay. can make it also. You're in. <laughs> yes, <the boy. laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. You can do that. Um, we're just gonna get that details your cell phone number afterwards. You know, I'm already putting you out there so people can call you if they want to do their nails. Oh. It's honestly very nice. Um, how your nails look, you know. Thank you. Yes. Um, if you were to to have any words, you know, of encouragement. For the youth out there, you know, because um, our youth today we need the yeah, encouragement. You know, we need the encouragement, and um, you as a young lady you know, taking that leap of faith and saying that you know I, I'm gonna do this. I wanna accomplish these certain goals. Yes, you taking a detour now because is the education that you wanted to further. Yeah. But now you're taking a slight detour. But I always say that whatever happens, whatever journey that you embark on, there is a plan and a purpose yeah. for that, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, you if you have any words of encouragement for our listeners. Um, the only thing I have to say is whatever you have in mind, keep on chasing that dream. Mm-hmm. Never give up. There might be an obstacle, but you have to like keep on chasing the dream and also be confident. Always believe in yourself. Don't believe in what people say. Well, people might see you as something else, but within you, you know what you want. Hmm. You know who you are. So don't allow what people say or what people feel about you be a storm to your decision. So be confident. Be who you are. And also... I believe I normally say, be fearless. <laughs> mm. Don't be afraid of anything. Feel like, say what you feel like. Because you came to this world alone. And you also go back to your creator alone. Mm. So say what you feel like. Do what you feel like. But don't do the wrong one. Don't do the <laughs> same <laughs> right thing. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so that's all I have to say to you guys. Mm. And also, put God first. 
God is the pillar of everything, putting force in whatever you're doing because he knows the boss. But before this solve, consult God first, ask God, will this be right? Should I do this? God will always lead you to the right path because mm -hmm. God, like I said, God is the finisher, the beginner, and, and so in everything, put him first. Amen. You know, let's just put an amen right there. <laughs> you amen. Know, it's, so <laughs> it's so true what you, you say, you know, God is the author, the finisher of everything, you know, he is the ultimate con controller like he should be in control you know yeah he should he, we should put him first you yeah. know he doesn't he doesn't want to control us yeah. but he wants to be you know Before. us to to put him in control yeah. of our lives so that we can make better decisions yeah. for ourselves you know and i believe today you are here you know mm -hmm. to put yourself out there especially for the modeling when it comes yeah. to um wanting you know an agency you know yeah, the modeling agency. So if anyone is out there and listening today, you know, who knows um, and is in contact with someone who owns a uh, modeling agency, you know, and uh, yeah, can, can you just think about this beautiful young lady all the way from Nigeria, <laughs> all the way from Nigeria, you know. Yes, um, I'm very honored to be speaking to her today because um, I told John the other day, like, I like the, the Niger movies. So I'm like, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> my, people, <laughs> my people, my <laughs> people, yes, yes, I love those music, uh, those movies, yes. So is, if anyone is out there and listening today, um, can you just give your, your contact details, how they can get hold of you, you know, okay. if they... One, if there's any opportunity for you, you know. Um, okay, my cell phone number and my WhatsApp number is zero six one four zero five eight nine nine nine. Okay, can you just repeat that again? Zero six one four zero five eight nine nine nine. Mm -hmm. Yes. So um, yes, it was a nice a nice conversation with you beautiful young inspirational lady you know that you are and we believe that god has a plan and a purpose for your life you know whatever yeah. you um want to embark on may it be blessed you know um may god's hand be over you and protect you, you know? yeah Yes, thank you very much. Thank you, Nikki. For coming, for coming. Ah, for coming. nice speaking with you. <laughs> yes, and listeners, um, if you want to, um, know if you want to, if you didn't get the number, you can just um contact us as well. Um, on our, uh, radio station, the number is zero um six seven double nine four four five four six. Let me just repeat that again. Is Zero six seven double nine double four five four six. You know, and you can just get get in contact or on the on our WhatsApp. Uh, uh, apologies for that. On our Facebook page, you can just um inbox. You know, or or send a message in the comment. You know, if you know of any agency, yeah, a modeling agency, uh, that would be willing to host and. To, you know, sign. just put this be a sign, uh, this beautiful young lady. Yeah, so that was um, Treasure Ndu BC, you know, and beautiful young lady. Thank you very much for tuning in uh, to the midday talk with myself, Nikki. The time now is 1.27 p.m. on a gorgeous, gorgeously beautiful um friday afternoon may you be blessed and may you keep well i'll be playing uh kira kira shed free stay blessed <laughs> yes i believe that was an album yeah. <laughs>